Hello, hello, hello. Good morning to you all. This is Brands Daily. This is episode six of Burton's Daily. Listen, take yourself seriously. You know, take yourself seriously. And that's not to say that you can never have fun. That's not to, that's not to say you can never joke around. But take yourself seriously. Please. You know, like, I must have... Well, I must have been at mama. I must have been at mum's and must have walked into my sister's room and I saw I was like, wait a minute. Why are you still in bed? Like get up. You why are you still in bed, you know? It's, it's, it was like nine o'clock or something like that. I said get ready for school. You know, go or go to school, I said. She's like, Josh, it's Saturday. I was like, what? She's like, yeah, it's Saturday. You see, that's the messed up thing, you know? That's actually the messed up thing. I thought I didn't, re- like, I, I knew what the date was because I've got certain stuff that I have to do by certain dates. But, I completely forgot that it was a Saturday, which I don't know if that's troubling in a way or not troubling because I don't know if that means I'm taking my my myself very seriously in this project that I'm forgetting when is like the the social norm of like dates and times you know like okay it's the weekend now you know oh it's the week uh, oh, it's the weekend now you know somewhere good to be, there is somewhere good to go because it's a friday night or somewhere good to go because it's a saturday night listen all my life is just home 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 try and wake up as early as I can do this 2.43 sorry I do this waking up at 6 or 6.30 and starting this message and delivery into the day you know and it'll be a catalogue of things that I look back on and and it's a catalogue of things for you to reference and see but I'm, I'm walking this I'm not talking this, I'm walking this, you know, fantastic news, I don't know if I already said this, but, when we, when we, when we got, uh, when we got to receive news that we would confirm, confirmed, um, that we'd been given permission to film in the hospital that we need for the film, and you know what, it's not just any hospital. It's one of the biggest hospitals in 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 London, Guy's Hospital. And not only that, the cost for it to rent it daily is usually three thousand five hundred pound, and we got it for five hundred pound for a daily rental of a floor, an entire floor in a hospital. Because of the nature of the project, they said because of what it's about like probably the fact it's an independent film you know it's probably these factors that's why you know what when there's actors that sit at home and cry and say listen I'm not being hired or I'm not reaching my full potential of what I want to do you know what good good because you're sitting at home and you're hoping that someone's gonna go here you go i got this for you now listen yeah not yeah you can say yeah but i don't want to write i don't want to direct i don't want 
I don't want to film or whatever, but listen, if you take yourself seriously, if you take yourself seriously, you would do, you would do the things you don't want to do for the things that you do want to do. There's quite a few big time actors that um, did their own thing. Whether it be whether it be writing their things to get to where they got to, you know. Sylvester Stallone, Matt Damon. You know, I think his her name is Michelle Cohen. Oh, that the chewing gum series. You know, like Vin Diesel. These people wrote their way to success. Like, they was like, "All right, so you're not you're not giving me something. You're not giving me something juicy. You're not giving me something that I can lay my hands and my teeth into. I know my level. You take yourself that seriously that you know your level." I will, this will not be the last time I'll say this, but I said this to this girl yesterday, I said, listen, I was like, the only difference between me and a Hollywood actor, the only difference is a paycheck, it's the only difference, and you could say that's the same for everyone, no, 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 I don't believe that, no, 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 no. Because there's a certain thing with most Hollywood actors, most, that you get you get a ne- next like sense of power from them and their presence from them when they're in it. Don't get me wrong, like you can have you can have the Daisy Ridley who. I don't know how she's gonna do in the following years. I think she 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 being in Star Wars is quite an immense thing, and that's fantastic. I don't know how she's gonna be in the next like five years in the industry. I don't know how she's gonna be because um, it's it's a question. It's a question mark. You know, I'm, I'm curious of how how she's gonna be. Actually, she's probably the only person in the industry that I'm curious about how her career is gonna play out. If if it will last, um, and I think you know, I don't think I don't think that I don't think I think it's because like she's the only one that I can refer to that that I feel doesn't fit in that general that that category of what I just said like that that something that overall something like yeah that she's the only one that I can think of like even little Millie Bobby Brown like she she has that something and even I think it's because as well like it's not it's not just that something of that special that presence because she has those presents and stuff but it's just that yeah it's i can't really put my word on it but you but it's this it's the kind of same thing i guess when you feel that you will notice a certain person when they've walked into a room you know, when certain people say, you notice this person as soon as they're in that room, or you notice that person's in this room, you know they're there. Without, without them having to speak or be loud, you know they're there, you know they're in the room. You always have to greet them when they're in the room. And I just think that that comes from you having at some point allowed that furnace to just be open and burn and the only way that happens is if you take yourself seriously know your level do you know what that's the that's the straight up message as well for today like take yourself seriously and know your level
you know. And I had a beautiful message from someone today saying, Josh, this is your year. You know what? Listen, man, every year is going to be my year. If she means that this is your year, like, this is your year, when, when you and you're just going to, like, kick, like, and you're going to fully get longed into your stride, then, you know what, if that's the case, if it's that, that, that means I was right when I was 15 years old. I said 10 years from now. Um, <laughs> people used to call me flow rider <laughs> there was this huge singer and artist called flow rider i hadn't seen him in a while people used to say i look like flow rider and i, I said no nah, flow rider looks like me right and i'm gonna be bigger than flow rider and I was like, and then the one girl, I remember, she like, yeah, 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 okay, okay, so what are you going to be doing? And I was like, listen, so listen, in 10 years' time, I'm going to be bigger than Flo Rida. And that was when I was 15, so I'm now 24. And I'm, I'll turn 25 in a couple of months. But then, obviously, I have the year of me being 25, which I think is going to be a big year for me. I do. I do, I do. It's not even like I'm saying, yeah, 25 is going to be the biggest year of my life. But I mean, I just feel 25. Um, and I only say that not even just because of the age, but because of the lead up of the last two, three years. Uh it's been taking myself seriously i've invested my time and my money into what makes me like grow in this place you know what makes my arms expand in this industry and like i mean i want to party i want i want to like I want to properly, I want to properly have some good night, good nights out, I want to, and the mad thing is, it's not that I can't, aff- it's not that I, I, if I just, it's not that I can't afford it, like, but it'd be me living a fake lifestyle, I could rent an Airbnb one night, and I could do this weekly if I wanted to, even even more than more than once in a week to be fair but i could rent out an airbnb go on a night out find someone that's around pick the picker up and like enjoy the night go back to the airbnb mash the thing and then repeat go to work do that process but I realized that that kind of thing there, yeah, that kind of lifestyle will stress me out because I'll be coming to work and thinking, why am I coming to work? What, what am I? What's my game here? What's my game plan here? Like, am I just working to work and just try and have more and more money? Like, I don't understand people's life. life I don't understand people's like headspace when if that's the end game. I'm just working every day okay if they're not if there's no purpose there i don't i don't get it i feel that means you're not taking yourself seriously serious like if you have no purpose in what you're doing you're not taking yourself seriously you're really not you can't be you know you because you've not taken the time to think about how you benefit or how this helps you or how this matters and a serious that's a serious thought that you have to make you know but yeah man that's that's probably what it is like take yourself seriously let's take yourself seriously know your level and if you don't know your level if you're trying to find your level 
find it. You know what to do to find how good you are at what you do. You set yourself a challenge. You set yourself a task that seems impossible and you see where you land. That's what I did when I made my first short film. I set myself a challenge. I was like, how good am I? I honestly asked myself that question as an actor. How good am I? What level am I? I was seeing these auditions for this character and I'm thinking, this is dead. Like, this is de- like this is dead. These roles are dead. Like, yeah, this is paying. This is a lot of lines here. But I was like, this is, this is dead. This experience is, is generally dead. Like, yeah, I love the audition and I loved going for the roles and stuff for some of them because I enjoy because I enjoy acting so I was enjoying doing it but that doesn't mean that the journey of what I was doing it was at was the right way to do it and that way listen to me I'm telling you was dead no it was absolutely dead me dead it was absolutely dead me you know so I set myself a challenge I was like how good am I? Um, can I keep people's attention in one room? Not just like a one man show, but like as me speaking as one person, but like a combination of characters in one room under a heightened state of circumstance and drama and good writing. And will it land? Will it? Will people see the difference? Will people? feel the difference or people be able to accept the difference and that happened um uh, sorry if it seems like i'm itching it's just one of those mornings you know like i think it's because i'm that tired i'm just like rubbing my skin just to stay awake (laughs) oh but um i'm gonna get shower after i think that's what needs to happen because i'm not fully awake right now but as I said, this is raw, waking up, giving you this. And I do kind of feel like I'm quite awake for the fact I'm giving this. Like, But I literally woke up out of bed, opened my laptop, stood up, like, and like I woke up and down my room and then boom. But yeah, man, take yourself seriously, like. I'm, I'm ch- that's the one thing I mean I mean no one's telling me to do what I'm doing right now for my career I'm not being led by an agent I'm not being led by a manager and I know don't get me wrong like I do want these things one day I guess that can be sending me for these high profile jobs <sighs> well it, it annoys me that there's some actresses like that or my actors that complain for work and then um there's roles that are being offered but then they're not taking it because they don't see i don't know 350 pound a day or something which it just convinces me <coughs> you're not in it for the acting you're not in it for that you know if someone's promising you a feature film and film shooting on high quality 4k (coughs) which is the industry standard for things like netflix and amazon and is also saying based on having previously done it anyway that you will get cinematic exposure and there will be a cinematic release as well as they're saying all of these things but the only thing they can't assure you is the fact that you're not going to get that you're getting a mad big wage but yeah, you want to act. But yeah, you want to boost your career. Nah, 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 nah. You know you don't. You just want the money that you're seeing these actors have. You just want the money. I'm investing so much into this. 
I think all in all, for how I've grown and raised and for what I would want to achieve, like, my bed that I'm sleeping on right now, the mattress is like five years old. It's not the best mattress I should be having right now. It really isn't. But there's some people don't have that don't have a mattress. Right, but this is not the best mattress I should be having right now. And I can buy a new one. I have the money to buy a new one. I can buy a new coat. My jeans tore the other day. I've been wearing them for... Like, it has a slight tear in the crotch area. It's not that big, like, but it just has a slight tear in the crotch area. That happened two weeks ago. I can buy a new pair. But, um, why do... I don't need it. It's not... It's not... It's not the, the necessity right now for me to do that. I'm going to get a new pair, like, at some point, but... Let it, let it tear a little bit more and then I'll get another pet <laughs> you know but I'm just talking about taking yourself seriously like and, and I'll, I'll end it on this little final there's this person that I know this owner of a business this guy makes at least on his business like 60k a week 50k a week we can even round that down because let's say it's a, a not as much of a great week but it's a good. let's say he makes at least 30k a week the rent is 14k a month 30k a week times four is 120k you know like he makes money and obviously he pays his employees itinerary all of that yeah this man yesterday was walking around and he had ripped trousers in the crutch area <laughs> he pays my he, he was paying my wages like when i was working as a barman he's paying my wages he pays me to be able to buy jeans i can buy jeans but yet this man, oh, this man, of course, then can buy a jeans. But yet he's walking around with ripped trousers <laughs> because it's not the priority. If it was anything to do with the club, it's there. He's got it. But if it's something to do with him and it doesn't have an immediate application, then I don't do it. Now the difference is he needs to have like a bit of time to reevaluate himself a little bit because he shouldn't be doing that he does he shouldn't be doing that like even if it's not expensive or jeans or brand new jeans all the time he he should be and he should be having some comfort in what he's worked hard for he should be you know like but then again i could reflect again on myself i'm not as making as much income as him but i'm making income that I can supply to myself more comfort to my living surroundings <laughs> that's my time up but <clears throat> if you get to the end of this video I want you to write take yourself seriously and know your level this is me signing out on burton's daily episode six have a fabulous day thank you